Guess who's back? Frank is back. Guess who's back? Yes, I am back. <laughs> Hi, my name is Frank. It's Friday. That means time to kick back, relax, talk music. I really don't know what was up with that intro. It was just uh, whatever it was. Anyway, today, a couple things. I got some mail from my buddy Gil Beck. And I'm going to open that package up. I opened, I opened up prior to in this video. There's a really cool horror movie soundtrack in there. Um, a French pressing from France. That's cool. And I'm going to give my thoughts by request on this acrylic turntable mat from Hudson Hi-Fi. So let's get at it. Love vinyl? Why not tell the world with a Channel 33 RPM t-shirt? All proceeds help this channel continue to grow. Link below this video. I appreciate your support. All right, so it's been a month, more than a month. I came back briefly for that REM giveaway and I just couldn't resist. That was too cool of a contest. I just had to jump on that. But otherwise, um, this is my first time doing a video since um, July-ish, I think. So I had a great summer. I hope you did as well. Hung out um, with family and friends and spent a lot of time with the kids. I went to the lake and we went to the cabin. We didn't venture off too far from home the whole world world situation we kind of stayed close to home base but uh, it was a great summer nonetheless there are a few changes to the music room I got this monitor behind me um, I was gonna say it's a spare monitor or spare TV but really there's no such thing but it was an underutilized TV we had in the house and I just checked to see if I could um, plug a USB stick into it and I could and I could display JPEGs so I thought why not put it in the music room I'll, I'll put it back there and uh, and post relevant images related to the video I'm working on. I got some blue lighting back there too. Um, otherwise, that's about it. As I said, I'm excited to do this video, so let's get right at it. First, I want to talk about this. Um, I'm looking at my Amazon order here acrylic transparent turntable slip mat by Hudson Hi-Fi. And before I left on break, I opened this package that it came in and I was um, told you I would come back and talk about my thoughts about this. So just in terms of background, I'm using this on my Technics, Techniques SL1200 MK2 turntable. It had a felt mat on there. It was old and, and full of dust. So I wanted something different. So I kind of researched what I wanted to get. And I'm always a big fan of acrylic platters. I have an acrylic platter on a couple of my turntables, including my Project Debut Carbon and on my Fluence RT85. And a few things I like about acrylic platters is one, they look really good. And two, I'm not sure if they control static, but they certainly, uh, let me rephrase that. I'm not sure if they prevent static, but they certainly do help control static. For example, when I use a cork mat and I lift up the record, the cork always seems to stick to the record. And that's a huge pain. So I want to figure out what to use for my techniques. And I saw this one come up on Amazon. So I thought I would try it. And I know a lot of people say that these um, help produce a, a maybe a, a richer or a more robust bottom end um, base sound on the turntable. Truthfully, I did not notice any real sound difference by using this platter. Nonetheless, people asked me if I would recommend this acrylic mat, and I definitely would. I mean, looking at the price here, it's less than $30 Canadian. I think on Amazon.com in the US, in the US dollars, it's less than 25 bucks. And for that uh, amount of money, it's definitely worth it for a couple of reasons. One is, as I talked about before, um, controlling static or keeping static in check. This certainly does that. Number two, I think it looks really cool on my turntable. And you need a turntable mat, so you might as well go for something that looks cool. So for those two reasons alone, I would recommend this. Well, three reasons, price, static control, and good looks. But again, if you do get this, don't expect any huge change in the sound coming from your turntable. Maybe it's there, maybe it's not. I don't know, I couldn't detect one, but uh, it's still worth purchasing. I give it one 
<laughs> two thumbs up. All right, check this out. This was pre-recorded earlier. This is me opening that package from the one, the only, the super cool Mr. Gilbeck. All right, welcome to the back deck for this segment of the opening the mail. It's dusk. It's been um, it's been really hot out today, and sometimes people are surprised when they hear it's hot in Canada, but it's a big country. There's all sorts of different temperatures, but it was it was blistering today. Anyway, this package comes from my buddy, Gilly Beck, who lives over in the next province of Saskatchewan. Uh, Gil's been on this channel before. Last year he brought me over a big, big box of cassettes. Anyway, I know one thing in here is a, I believe, I believe a Jimi Hendrix album. Gil knows I'm a Hendrix fan. He asked me if I had this one particular album compilation. And I did not, but I think there's more than one in here, so we shall see. Here we go. Hey Frank, here are a few records I hope you don't have already. Hugs to you and the family. Gil. Gil, by the way, has a YouTube channel. Link in the description below. Um, our families have become friends. So, Stiffner, not a famous Stiffner. Hank Snow, country and western jamboree. There's nothing in there. Oh, okay, here's the Hendrix. I'm not familiar with this one. Jimi Hendrix, Loose Ends on Polydor. So what's on here? Come Down, Hard On Me, Baby, Blue Suede Shoes. I'm not sure this is a live or this is outtakes um, or what this is, but I love Hendrix, one of my favorite guitar players of all time. It's on Black Wax on the Polydor label. And I just saw something in there. It's like, holy C-R-A-P. Anyway, this is uh, Celtic Frost. Do you say Celtic Frost or Celtic Frost? Oh my gosh. Okay, Gil sent me a picture. Sent me this picture. He said, Frank, do you recognize these guys? I'm like, no, I, I have no idea. I didn't know that um, Celtic slash Celtic Frost went through this big hair period in the 80s. So this is a band that I um, missed in large part back in the day. However, I've been discovering and getting into them. So this is on Maze Music, Canadian Press. And this comes on the Maze Music label. Awesome, thank you, Gil. And this next one, there's three records in here. I was, um, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm a big horror movie, slasher movie fan, and the Halloween franchise is my favorite horror movie franchise of all time. And this, to me, looks like an original press of the Halloween 2 soundtrack, if you can see that. Musique composée et jouée par John Carpenter with avec Alan Howarth import. Okay. I love Halloween 2, the original. It's not quite as good as 1. Um, and it was a little more, what I loved about 1 is sort of the violence and the horror was largely imagined. This one was a little more blatant. Compared to today's standards, no, it's like issue with a lot of modern slasher is that it relies on special effects more than for the scares. And that's not scary. Like blood and gore to me is not scary. What's scary is the psychological part when it gets into your mind. This album looks awesome. There we have the label. Awesome. Thank you. Love it, Gil. You rock my friend as does your family. I will leave a link, dear 33 ers to Gil's channel below this video. Please do check it out. Look who joined me, it's daughter, Ellie. So, I just opened this package from Gil. We'll show her this. What do you think of this artwork? Pretty nice. You like horror? Not really, but for the front cover, it looks very detailed. Yeah. Thanks, Gil, you rock. Oh, here's another kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the dog. We're all on camera today. What do you, <laughs> you got two bottles of water. Come on, camera. I'm filling up mom's too. We think this Halloween album cover. Is that a knife That's and a, a knife. head? That's a knife and a head, yeah. Is he wearing makeup? 
Well, he's wearing a mask. Gil, you, you rock! rock! All right, guys, that is my big return. Let me know what you thought of today's episode of Friday Night Vinyl. If you dug it, I'd appreciate a quick thumbs back. I'm not gonna have a video this Sunday, but I'll be back with a video next Friday and next Sunday, so I hope you can tune in. Until then, dear 33ers, keep on spinning.